Welcome to the Crafty Corner where you're crafting with Katrina. Look at this. Aren't this isn't this just adorable? This is my family recipe box that I've made. I've embellished it with die cuts of mittens and aprons. And I used some puffy stickers that I picked up at the Dollar Tree of those beautiful roses. I made some tags and stamped it. This box is made of chipboard that I purchased from Amazon and paper pack that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. The paper pack has coordinating papers in it and you only need one to two sheets of the 12 by 12 to make this box. I used some burlap ribbon around the waist to give this a, a very southern style country chic look and I used wooden pegs for the feet as well as for the opening. The box has magnetic closures so it does close and uh, will stay closed. I used some card crafting card stock and placed some Inferma, inferma on it um, to write recipes on and I found recipe cards online downloaded those into my Cricut I offset them and cut those out as well to add to the box so as you can see the box is very sturdy and it's very beautiful I'll be doing a tutorial on these Saturday on how to make them and how I made this box down in there as you can see with everything I've put in here there's still lots and lots of room for more items you can add your own cards and your own recipes you can use index cards as those will fit as well this turned out very very beautiful I'm very happy with the way this turned out I also did another box and this was a stationary box and inside of it I have cards and envelopes I also put some tags and some items for your cards in there in the box as well now I have to give a big shout out to the posh paper lady because she made this box and I was able to walk through her tutorial to do this box and then I turned the box into a recipe box and added my own little twist to it my measurements are not quite the same as hers and my box is a little bit bigger but I want to say thank you to her because without her I wouldn't have been able to make it and I really appreciate the tutorials that she puts out because they're very easy to follow and understand I use chipboard as my dividers in this box to separate the envelopes from the cards as well as the other items that I placed in the box so here you can see all of the envelopes and the little 3 by 3 cards that I made for the box um, they're actually three by six folded in half and I did put some little spaces on the inside of the cards for you to write your sentiments and give a quick little easy card to someone just to let them know you're thinking about them this box also has magnetic closures and on the feet of this box I did not use the round wood I actually used some elegant uh, feet pedals that are stands for for boxes and things like that and as you can see all of these items fit in this box and there's plenty of room for more make sure you tune in to my channel like and subscribe for more tutorials in the front of the box you'll see there's a white rose that was one of my Tmall haul items our T Moo Hall items and there's the thank you card that also fits in the box it's a little bigger than the other ones so here again are the items that I made 
for the stationery box the cards the envelopes and I, I added more to it and there's a rose with leaves on top of the box and here is the recipe box with the puffy rose in front so make sure you tune in like and subscribe to my channel and help me grow tune in Saturday for the release of a new tutorial thank you for joining me in the crafty corner